And with that, we turn to our local debate coverage. KION's Jocelyn Ortega joins us live with how people on our central coast plan to watch this debate during the pandemic. And then, of course, what they'll be looking out for. I spoke with people involved in their own local political parties to see what they are hoping to see tomorrow night from the candidates and what their candidate winning the election would mean for the Central Coast. And no matter what side they're on, I'm told they want to hear how the financial burden of the pandemic will be resolved. Health, unemployment, and civil unrest. These are just some of the topics you can expect to hear during Tuesday night's first presidential debate between President Donald Trump and Joe Biden. So I wanted to sit down by the people involved in their party's politics locally. What do they expect to hear from their candidate? I hope he's able to contrast his plans with what the president has done so far. We're in way worse shape than we were when President Trump took over. If Trump wins, what it will mean will be money to everyone that lives here in the form of relief. It takes a lot to get Democrats and Republicans to agree during an election year, but the impact of the coronavirus pandemic is one of those topics. Both want to hear how these candidates will turn around our Central Coast economy and provide financial relief to people and businesses impacted by the virus and lockdowns. Many of us are still at least doing some version of shopping and jobs. Still in place. As for how our local parties are tuning in, a quick look at their Facebook pages show the Monterey County Democrats are joining together through Zoom with the Republican meeting in person at their headquarters, but they say space is limited due to COVID-19 restrictions. Aaron. Uh, Jocelyn, thank you very much.